What's going on YouTube? We're back with another episode and this is going to be another quick fix but I'll name it as its own episode since it really doesn't, I guess, co come as a child from anything. Um, so uh, in this episode we're going to fix the scope in our Russian rifle. Now of course this episode will probably mean nothing to you unless you have a, a gun that comes with the texture with a, a solid uh, scope that looks like that. And it's got a good red dot but it's not transparent. So if you have something like that uh, lying around and you just decided to not use it. Uh, when you imported it because of, of the bad scope, then try and re-import it. Maybe this tutorial will help. If not, then I'm sorry, but this uh, is what works for this gun. So, obviously, our scope isn't right. The camera's not perfect, but I, I'm not working on that, and you guys can perfect that on your own. Uh, I've shown you how to do it uh, before. But, right now, we're talking about material. So, in the download that I gave you, there should be a material called Glass Text. Uh, if there is not, then try and re-download that or open up the zip again and drag that texture out. Anyways, open up your glass material that it made, and the glass text should already be in there. If not, all you have to do is take it, drag it right in, let go, and you're good. It's in there. Now, we're going to need a couple things, though, because what we're doing is... Um... Well, not just uh, a one node thing, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So, what you're going to need is you're going to need a um, scalar parameter. And you're going to need, um, if you just right click and do scalar parameter, it'll give you that. And the other thing you'll need is click on the material hub thing whatever and click on it and over here you'll see some stuff right now your blend mode will say opaque but make it translucent and then opacity will pop up the other stuff will disappear but opacity will pop up now connect your scalar to the opacity and put your scalar at something like 0.75 uh, I suppose now, we kind of want the red dot sight to glow, and it doesn't glow too well if you're like looking in the sky or something. It only glows well if you're actually aiming on something. So sure, if you're trying to aim for a person or a headshot, um, as long as it's pretty much anything except a really light color, the, sh the it will show up. Even on this gray, the red will show up. Um, but we want we want it to kind of glow a little bit more now this makes the entire thing glow but um it's it's kind of a a nice little um additive if you will so get a vector can't spell vector never spell it right oh my gosh vector parameter if i could spell get a vector parameter and it looks like that and connect the white to uh, the white thing to emissive color and we're going to uh, this this just needs to stay the way it is except the default value uh, turn it to kind of a red now that will make the uh, emissive color which is like its glow or whatever it'll make that uh, red and that's obviously what we want and so with that if I if I knew what I was doing oh. Okay, um, if it just, wow, doesn't want to, nope, doesn't want to work. All right, so uh, put it like a tin red or something and save that. And the material should take a bit to kick in. It'll, it, you may be scared that it freezes when about about 50% when it's saving. Don't worry, as you can see, it does it for me all of the time. So the little freeze, it's normal. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, the um, the combination of the opacity scalar scalar parameter that we have here, and the combination of the vector parameter, the red glow, um, kind of allows the scalar opacity allows it to be transparent, and the vector allows it to kind of glow. So the whole thing turns red, but the red dot in the center glows much brighter. Um, I say glow roughly, but it definitely shows much brighter than the rest. So that's obviously not what we want. 
So I'm, I'm going to put it like 1, see how that goes, and kind of just mess with the variable. It may take a little bit for the material to initialize every time you change it, depending on your computer's specs. But just mess around with it and figure out what's something good. So I'm going to mess around with it a little bit, and I'll come back once I found something that I feel like looks the best. All right, so I found something that looks better. Uh, let's not, let's not um, talk about what that potentially ish kind of a little bit looks like or that just uh don't talk about any of it but um as you can see there's a clear difference between the red dot and the rest of it and so it's not the best you don't have to do this if you don't want to that's fine you can delete it and mess around with the transparency settings but this is what it kind of looks like now so obviously it's not like the best of the best here but I I got it I feel like as good as I could have and um, if you if you if you take it all in I mean that could potentially be a good red dot site um, I'm sure there's ones that glow all red like that or something I don't know but uh yeah it's uh, and the funny thing is is on the back side completely transparent wish it was really like that um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little kind of small red dot site fix thing. I'm a bob. Um, if you did, you can leave a like and a comment about something I could do next or something. Or, cool thing you could also do is donate to my Patreon or PayPal because if you didn't catch it, I'm saving up for a better monitor to make my YouTube videos look better wow i don't know why i went to the negatives now i gotta fix something else i'll solve it i'm sure um anyways so yep yeah, thank you once again very much for liking reading commenting subscribing and i will see you all in the next one